Today I'm going to talk to you about Chromebooks and some of the things that parents can do to try to keep their children safe while using Chromebooks. Chromebooks do not have the same kind of controls that an iPad or an iPhone or even an uh, Android phone would have, but there are still some things that you can do. So those are the things that we're going to look at today. Now the very first thing when you get a Chromebook that you need to do is as the parent you need to be the first one to log in. As far as Chrome is concerned, the first person to log into a Chromebook is the owner of the Chromebook and the one that has the ability to control the settings on the Chromebook including the settings of the other users. So step number one is parent login with a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account you can create one, they're free. Next question I'm sure is going to be, but what if I already gave my child their Chromebook and I didn't log in first? They did and they're the owner. Well, that's one of the great things about a Chromebook. You can erase the Chromebook back to factory settings and because everything is stored in the cloud, none of their stuff will be lost. Everything that they do for the most part is in the cloud. That's the premise behind the Chromebook. That's why it has such a small hard drive. Um, an exception might be if they had downloaded some textbooks or something like that, but the textbooks are still on the website and they can download those again. So no problem if the child has already logged in and become the owner of the Chromebook. We can do what is called a power wash so that we can start all over and the parent can be the first one to log in. So I will show you how to do the power wash as well if that is the problem that you're facing. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to power wash this one and then show you how to make yourself the owner of the Chromebook and show you the few settings that you need to do to help keep your child safe and also talk about some things like in our case that our school does for the ones that have Chromebooks. If you are one of the parents who handed the Chromebook to the child immediately out of the box and the child signed on first and became the owner account, I'm now going to show you how you can erase the Chromebook back to factory settings so you can erase the child as the owner account and then you will log on first to make your parent account become the owner account of the Chromebook. To do that, come back down in the bottom right corner and click on, on the um, icon and then the settings gear. When the settings come up, you're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom, click on advanced, and then scroll all the way to the very bottom again. Get to the reset settings. You want the one that's called power wash. If you use the top one, restore settings to original defaults, that does not remove the accounts. So you want to click on power wash and that's going to remove all the user accounts and get rid of the child being the owner account. When you click this, it's going to tell you that it has to restart your Chromebook. You'll click for it to go ahead and restart. When it comes back up, a window will come up and ask you if you are sure that you want to power wash your Chromebook. And you will tell it yes, and it will go through the steps to erase the Chromebook. When it is finished, it will come back up with no accounts on it and ready to start all over again. We're going to look at the settings that you need to change on the Chromebook. At this point, we are assuming that you, being the parent, are the first one signing into the Chromebook. So you will sign in with your Gmail account. And then you're going to click down here in the bottom corner, bottom right, and choose the settings gear. Click that. And then we're going to come over here and go down past network and Bluetooth and find the section about people. And we're going to manage other people. So we're going to click on that. Where it says enable guest browsing, you want to turn that off. The reason for that is if you allow guest browsing, guest browsing does not keep the history. It, in fact, it doesn't save any settings that are made while the person is using guest browsing. It resets every single time. So you want to make sure and turn off the enable guest browsing button. You do want to allow to show usernames and photos on the sign-in screen. And then you want to turn on this one that says restrict sign-in to the following users. Of course, if you're just doing this for the first time, yours should be the only one showing with owner beside your name. And then this is where you add 
the people that will be allowed to use the Chromebook. The reason you want to restrict it is so that you only have the accounts on the Chromebook that you are aware of. For example, if your kids go to CCS, it best practice would be for you to add their CCS account and not allow a personal account. Here's the reason. CCS has an agreement with Securely, which is a filtering software, to filter our CCS student accounts. So no matter what device that they sign on to with a CCS Gmail account, they are filtered by Securely filtering out pornography sites, gambling sites, um, sites that you would not want your child to visit. It filters all that junk out. And it does it whether they are on campus or off campus, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as long as they are signed in with their CCS Google account. So I advise you to just allow their CCS account. So what you would do, you would click add person and you would type in your child's CCS email address and it needs to be the full concordchristianschool.org as their username and click add that person and then they will be able to sign on the next time they need to use it now if you do allow them to have a personal account on the chromebook then keep in mind when they're on campus, we have a filter on our network, but as soon as they leave, unless you have a filter on your network, that personal account would not be filtered. So please keep that in mind when you're setting this up. And if your child doesn't go to CCS, you might want to have a conversation with the tech people at your school to find out if school accounts are filtered when they are not on campus. But we use something called Securely, and so far it has worked great. So if you are use, having your students use a Chromebook that uses a CCS account, then as long as you have it locked down to where they can only log in with their CCS account, then they are filtered when they are on campus with our Wi-Fi filter. And then when they leave our campus, they are still being filtered by the company called Securely. This is what we use to filter their CCS accounts. It doesn't filter by device. It filters by what they are logged in with and it filters their accounts. That is why it is important for them to only log in with their account. If you have chosen to allow them to use their own personal accounts, then I highly suggest that you go out and get some type of filter for your network. PC Reviews from PCMag.com has some suggestions for parental control software that includes filters. The one that I use with very good success is Circle with Disney, which is a device that plugs into your Wi-Fi router. I will do another video blog on that one to explain it in more depth at a later date, but I do highly recommend that one. Um, I have heard of some people that use Symantec, N Nanny, um, MobySip is a new one that's supposed to be really good. Uh, several people use OpenDNS that I know of. So you do, if you are, are going to allow them to have their own personal accounts that are not filtered by the school, I do highly encourage you to get some other type of filtering software or device on your home network. Jake, what are some things that you use a Chromebook for at school. Okay, well, I use my Chromebook to see all of my classes that I'm in, and like the assignments and stuff that we have will be all listed. What here. program is that? This is a uh, Google Classroom, and your teachers can like give you a code to get in it and all that stuff. And then you can also get your textbooks and stuff. This is my history textbook. It has all the contents and stuff. And all the, you can just search all the stuff there. And then you can do reports on stuff. This is one I've done before. It was for my computer class and learning how to use images. And what did you do that in? What program? Uh, this is in Google Docs. 
And you can also research stuff. This is Wikipedia. It has a bunch of stuff that you can search. And what's that tab that says I Excel? What's that? Okay, so this is just like math. So that's another math. That's another program that you can do on a Chromebook, right? Yes. And then did you want to tell people stuff? Oh yeah, go check out my YouTube channel. It's Awesome Guy 101. It's gaming stuff. Thanks, so go Jake. do that.